Hey you guys and welcome back to Frames Games. We're back here in Evil Labs. Evil Lab. Evil Labs. Which is it? Evil Labs with an S. It's right here. Anyway. Doing a let's play of this game would be nearly impossible. Um simply due to the fact that this game takes way too freaking long to play. So I have literally been playing uh, probably at least the most of the last two hours. We have seven staff, and this is what everything looks like. <laughs> now, in the game's defense, there are some optimizations that after playing the game, I could be doing. I did not do more than the first tutorial, and I'm currently paying for a mistake of not getting the administrative office going sooner because then I could I think again I think I haven't done it I think that I could be charging more for my products that I'm selling instead of getting 25 money <laughs> every time something in our store sells I also don't know why they're just standing here I assume that's a bug but so yeah the game I fully agree with that review that says the game is way too goddamn slow. Because it is. Flat out, it is. It is way too slow. Even at this speed. You know, even with three production buildings, an almost constantly full storeroom and only one cashier, because I don't have a huge line, because I'm not pumping out diseases. Again, a couple things I could be doing differently, I'm sure. But it feels way too slow. Uh, I mean, granted I should have another extra person just idle so I can make sure that I don't miss out on any of these sales. But I think now we can actually get the administrative service. And if I'm right, I don't actually need anybody to run it. And something I don't get about the layout of this floor all these buildings right here are the same size. Maybe not. Maybe that is the problem. But... Yeah, you know what, that is the problem. So, if you have more than one of these big buildings per floor, you end up with an uneven amount of building space. Which, I mean, it's, it's not terrible. Yes. There are mm, certainly, certainly worse problems to have. Let's go ahead and place that administrative mystery of service time. That only costs research points to do all that. It does not cost... Stop it. It does not cost anything else. So we got HR, let's put the administrative service underneath it. You might actually be able to fit three of these large buildings per floor. Although I do not think so. Because if they're already one tile... Yeah. It is impossible. Alright, we'll just put it down here, that's fine. Alright, it says handles business operations. Required to unlock administrative buildings and control good. Okay, now what? So using a bunch of research points, like a literal fuck ton, like the amount that would be required for me to save up a little bit of money, demolish all my production except for one building, and build some extra research areas, uh, I could maybe eventually afford the ability to do an advertisement which would get more people in. I don't see... Like, yeah, we can expand the store for 3,000. But, uh... Manage business and unlock price setting. Again, that strange problem with sometimes you can't click. How do I do the price setting?
Good. That makes sense. So if we charge 50, we actually have to wait for someone to wake up or stop doing whatever they're doing. We got a bunk beds research kind of thing going on. So we can have... We've got bunk beds for six people. That should support... Way more than 12 people, because ideally you wouldn't have six people in bed at the same time. So I'd say 14 to 16 can be supported off of three bedrooms. But each time you infect a place, you get alertness. So it starts at zero and it goes up one every time. I'm sure more serious diseases perhaps might go up. But, uh, yeah. It's a decent game, but it's a game that I could literally leave running all night, assuming it doesn't crash and there's no save issues. Then I'd want to play it. Tomorrow, 12 hours from now. This is not something that we can just play for 30 straight minutes and get anything done, really. So... I don't... Oh, right. Mm -hmm. I actually moved this guy. Yeah. I think it was that guy. Mm -hmm. So if we have these guys on auto, so that means if they hit 10% of any of these stats, or 20 in the case of hunger because they lose health on hunger, so I want to make sure that they definitely don't skip a meal. But let's say they have to run down to the mess, the mess, sorry, the mess hall, and uh, they get done. They will return to the task that they were working on, which is really good. I was afraid that it was literally just clicking all over the place. So even if this guy's mm -hmm. sleeping or goes off to eat or needs his fun up, when he comes, when he gets done with that and all his other needs, he will return to the task. So it is possible to fully auto it and future development, they plan to have military that comes in and attacks you tries to shut down your operation and some defensive stuff and the XP for people is not in play yet. Mm -hmm. But they're hoping that once people, uh, once, you know, development gets done. I looked at some of their plans on the actual key mailer site. The experience will go towards classes. So if you see right here, see this is all beta version tags placeholder crap uh, you'll have things like engineers things who are better like researching scientists stuff like that and like military personnel that could potentially patrol floors or man man stations or something I don't know just just ideas for those classes but yeah maybe someday <laughs> maybe we'll we'll come back to this game but I know in the first video I said I'd do Potentially like three or four videos on it, two or three or whatever I said, but there's no way. Uh, I assume we have two researchers. These points, uh, this big station gives you two. I thought I did. Just allows for more. I, I don't even know. It doesn't seem more space efficient, like at all. We've barely had any sales. Do we even have anything to infect anybody with? No, we do not, because it does not say ready. Alright, well... 200. We'll wait for that guy to get back towards. No, we won't. We should actually do it right now. So, it's like take this guy to research. Of course. Send him over to this lab because we still want to play the game a little bit instead of just talking about it. We will develop a disease while this guy is recharging for the shop because once you infect a place, they like to. Let's Let's 
Let's get some extra chemicals and some extra points. We might be able to add all this in before they actually produce it. Hopefully that is the path of the pathogen that he's making. I really hope so. It's still a shitty fungus. But uh but yeah. Still be pretty okay. Huh? And it shows down here on the bottom that it's ready, so they have a military power. I don't think any of that matters right now. But we have it hopefully set to infect. You get a loud noise here. In a second. Now I unpause the game. Yeah. Super loud noise. The outbreak of recently discovered disease is causing panic in a population. According to scientists, it can cause several symptoms, including even death, which is not true, because ours won't kill anyone. Authorities, however, claim that there is nothing to fear, as Evil Labs has already announced a cure synthesized, blah, 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 blah. Total infected 13, already cured 2. Uh, deceased zero and remaining infected. Like I said, I didn't play other tutorials, so I don't have all the information on all that. It would probably be good because. Let's see if we can sell these for 75. It's pissing people off. Perhaps that's a bit much. 65. I always like to play a roller coaster tycoon where you check the average amount of money after like a huge campaign or the very beginning of the game. See how much money people had in their pockets when they walked up to the the gates. Find the average or the lowest amount that somebody had. Alright, we I would really like somebody selling shit right now. Because that guy's infected, so he's going to really... Damn it. And none of them want to pay that price. That's what we get for being greedy. But because we're full up, I mean... Everybody go back to researching or whatever. Really? I don't care. But yeah, nice little bit of influx money there. Uh, we could hire someone else, I guess. Make sure that we... When they spawn, they spawn a little off the ground, and it's not until they're on the ground that you can actually select them. Saw where I was clicking. I hope my mouse shows up in these videos, but... You just... You gotta be real careful sometimes that the bubble shows up where it needs to. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it was so desync. That seems to have fixed it. Just give it a second. Huh? And we'll My send him really? back to the cashier. Honestly, 50 is enough. Because if we're not going to get any money, then it's not worth the infections and everything else. So we got another one. Let's just shove it here, I guess. Fourteen, eight were cured. Six. Infected. It's probably in part due to the alertness. But, uh, yeah. Unlike, like, Plague Inc., people don't continue to get infected, even though it's set to travel through the air huh? and other stuff. I think that could definitely be improved. Because if they're not actively curing it themselves, and people are coming to us to cure it, I think there should be a way for other people to be infected continuously. Again, there might be. Uh, but this is early access, so in case there's not, there's time. This game wants to be a lot of things. 
Uh, I forget what that game that this super represents that came out fairly recently. I think even both had metros and looked pretty much exactly like this. It's about building skyscrapers or whatever. But this also has aspects from Plague Inc. and Infectionator. <laughs> Very obvious. It's not bad. It's just exact to what Yonder did. I'm worried that by trying to be too many other games that you don't do any of the systems uh, well enough to be any of them. You know, the whole reason AAA games are pretty decent, <laughs> usually, is because they focus on one core concept. And they make sure to execute it well. All of these just feel kind of half-assed, but like I said, it's early access, so we'll give it time. Come back to it in like six months and see where the game went. Not to be a downer, but I don't see it getting very far. But I do appreciate the opportunity to play it. So that was the same thing. We just got six total people, which isn't great. They didn't even at the time have an alertness, so... Where's all of the people that need to be huh? Huh? My doing things? I should have plenty of people researching. We're gonna miss out on all this money, of course. Huh? Yeah. Because I never spent 3,000 to increase my shop and constantly have two people inside of it. And nobody wants to pay either. You cheap bastard. So he's gonna eat, I'm gonna send him down to the lab. As soon as he gets there, he's probably going to immediately leave to go take care of the... his priorities, which is fine, but it, it set him to the, the research lab to make sure that he is researching. We probably don't need three people producing all this stuff anymore. Three hundred research points won't get us, like, anything. The best we can do is, like, boom, 500 for extra efficiency on the mm -hmm. bed. Now I don't even necessarily have a place for this guy, because I don't know who's where anymore. Um, perhaps another thing that I'd like to see in this game is when you click on somebody, some kind of line or something we can toggle to see perhaps where they are stationed that would be cool like if there's two cashiers here I would love to see which one they are stationed at or if it even matters maybe they just take the the closest one in that space to occupy I don't know I really don't know I don't know if these people go back to the same chair every time hard to tell and I'm not spending the time to do it, so... I mean, that's pretty much all there is to see. There's no tasks because we're in free play. Um, the tutorials and scenario stuff. We'll just save this real quick. Scenarios and tutorial. So, newbie pharmacist. Your first mission affect a total of 10,000 citizens. Still gonna take forever. But I'm sure these act as a tutorial, help you get through everything. I just can't see myself doing it. It's fun. It's just extremely slow. So that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Evil Labs by the people that I said in the first episode. I don't have it pulled up. Uh, Miraballus Studios, it's at the bottom. Of course it is, because it's in the, the message. 
Thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay positive. Drive yourselves a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.